Hey everybody, welcome back to Game Time Fun Yay. Game Time Fun Yay. Uh, still watching Matt play Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed China. Assassin's Creed. <laughs> uh, he freshened up on how to fight, uh, but I told him not to beat himself up too much. Hope, yeah, the, the guards do a good job of that already. Because <laughs> like. ideally, oh, we are like out of out of the six people that have played this game. Two of them are right here in this room. That is true. <laughs> so, I don't know how incredibly popular this game is, or if a lot of people downloaded it. It'd be really funny if this game is super successful and we just are super <laughs> ignorant right now. <laughs> and, and, and we're just really bad at it. Like, who's heard of this indie game, Mario Brothers? <laughs> hey. But like, when people try to, like, recommend things to you, you just look at them like, yeah, I know. Yeah, have you heard of Mumford and Sons? <laughs> like, uh, a, yeah, man, I've heard of Mumford and Sons. There's this band called Coldplay. <laughs> There was a... Do you know the Beatles? <laughs> I met a guy at work who said he doesn't like the Beatles. And um, I didn't like... I didn't say anything about it because I realized you can't... If someone says something like that and you try to like talk to them about it, you just sound like a fanboy. You know? Yeah. Like there's really no way... And what I wanted to say was, hey man, the Beatles have like 9,000 songs. Like there's not one you like. That's like, you know what I mean? The Beatles, they have so many songs for so many different genres that like there's not one Beatles song you at least think is okay, you know? Uh, but I, don't, I, I don't believe you. Yeah, that was my thing. Oh, you're doing good, dude. Oh. oh sorry, that was my I thought. was. Um, but uh, I, I was doing another shoot uh, at work. It was actually for Nikon. Oh, cool. And there were these photographers that came in and most of them, they were all pretty nice people. Um, and they were Nikon ambassadors. So these are like, Working professional photographers that basically have a deal with Nikon where Nikon's going to give them gear, but they have to rep the company. Yeah, makes uh, sense. And the one, I didn't realize she was one of the photographers, but uh, I came into work, and it was this girl wearing a fedora and a vest playing Mumford & Sons on her phone. <laughs> that seems exactly like, it uh, seems like an ad for Mumford & Sons. I know, and I like wanted to, like, I couldn't help but think, like, I think that, that wire right there to the right, you can break Oh, okay, that one? Yeah. Okay, I was... Yeah, right there, see that? I didn't realize that was a wire. Yeah. So I was really confused ah! about what I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> what uh, I just did was not. No, that's okay. Uh, but yeah, she was actually a super nice lady. So I'm glad I didn't say anything to anyone or tease her. Yeah. Um, but it was just kind of like... It, you almost feel like it's the it's the freshman on the quad with the guitar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where you're like, yeah, man. You ever hear Coldplay? That's that. That's that guy. Okay, like, hey, man. Like, I just figured out what being a hipster is. <laughs> Something I really like to do is if I ever see a uh, a white guy in a fedora, no matter what they look like, I I just turn to whoever's with me and go, "Is that Jason Mraz?" And then if it's a black guy, I do the same thing with Bruno Mars. <laughs> <laughs> that's Bruno Mars. No, like it's Bruno Mars. Like that's him. That's Bruno Mars. Who else would wear a fedora? Exactly. Can you feel that? Oh, look at that. Look at there, it's like, wow, well, that's the ground, all right. <laughs> Man, look at this ground. They didn't cover how to pick up ammo from the ammo caches. Oh, really? Yeah, so I just have no more throwing knives. Which I think is going to be not good for me. How about all that? Maybe you sneak up on it. How come some of the characters in this game speak English, but these people is subtitled? Or it's not subtitles, it's pure Chinese. Who knows? Very good question. But there was. Press and hold up. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe it's like a chest. A chest full of knives. I think you got something. It stopped shining and your inventory made a sound. Oh, nope, that's all you did. That's because I just switched inventory. Yeah. God damn. Why? Why is it so hard to do things? Make a button that says like, hey, you got this. I believe in you. I believe in you. If that helps. It does. I certainly don't believe in myself. If you <laughs> handed me the controller right now, I wouldn't know what, what was going on. Oh, it's different ammo types. So it's probably just not a throwing knife type. Did you ever like Mumford and Sons? Did you ever listen to them? I've listened to them because Elle has played them for me. Yeah. And I... It's very interesting. I did, when they, when they first came out, I didn't hate them. Uh, and even there's a few songs on Sy No More. There you go, you did it, man. Got it. There's a few songs on Sy No More that aren't bad. I just found with them that it was all the same. It was all just songs building to yells. 
and then they would yell for a little bit and just hit their instruments like apes. <laughs> and then that Some, and then sometimes that's what and then they made a billion dollars. So like <laughs> they gotta be doing something right. Yeah, you'd think. Except that's and then it. even they came out with a new album and it was just the same thing. It was like oh more, more yelling and hitting your guitar like a monkey. <laughs> What, what? Is that a little thing you have to climb up up there? Oh no, or down. It looks like there's like a crawl space up again. Oh, okay, cool. Up that ladder. I'm glad we have multiple pairs of eyes because you're right. Yeah, Maybe that. it's good that I'm tiny and have no health. <laughs> <laughs> Said no one. I think the guy has a gun. Oh, that's way to bring a gun to a knife fight. Let's test your now I gotta learn how to fight guns. Oh. I didn't realize I was in control yet. Still sharp, Try it People have already thrown projectiles at me. <laughs> well, they don't. They haven't had a line Perhaps like that, though. No. Will sharpen your wits. Oh, I think it's a crossbow. It is. I'm gonna. The crossbow's probably gonna kill me a lot. <laughs> I think you have to kill that guy now. I think you're right. Oh, nice. I just kicked him with my blade foot. That's awesome. Why have you been using that the whole time? I should just always use that attack. Yeah, I like definitely I, would. Like when I jumped me. into that guy. <laughs> yeah, why, why didn't you use your blade foot when you jumped into him? Just lead with the blade feet, man. There we go. This art style has grown on me. It's, it's, uh, there's an old game called Okami. Yeah. For the and, yeah, and it's like the little wolf running around. It looks mm -hmm. like it's been like painted. It yeah. reminds me of that because it's very, like, not not that it's not realistic, but it's like they like each like level looks like a picture. Yeah, uh, I actually have Okami at my apartment right now. Uh, nice. My brother loaned it to me probably six years ago, <laughs> and I still haven't played it. But I, I he doesn't remember. I he's have it. he's gonna watch this. And he's gonna get real mad. Yeah, because I'm sure he's not. been looking for it. Yeah, he's probably like it's ruined his. You know, life. I'm an adult now, and I am married and have responsibilities, and I've just been wanting to play Okami. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. He got he has a real dog now who's adorable. I want to. I still haven't meet, met him because they're in Ohio. Yeah, but his name's Avery, and uh, that's he's a, a good dog name. It is. I like. I like, it. When, I like when dogs have human names. Yeah. Like my dog back home, his name was Troy. Oh, that's good. Because it's like a human, a human name. So it's like, oh yeah, do you want to meet Troy? And they're like, oh yeah, expecting a person. And the <laughs> dog comes out. Yeah, that's good. Uh, my brother had a friend who, um, when his friend's older brother moved out, he got a dog. And the person named their dog Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and so whenever this person would go visit home, you know, he'd bring the dog with him. Yeah. And he would go, hey, Dad, and see who came first, the dog or his dad. <laughs> It's really, a, it's really a question of who loved him more. Yeah, who, who was more loyal? Him. Probably the dog. Probably because the, the dog is just like, oh, what do you need? Because the dog also doesn't get mad that an animal's He's named after. With. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I thought sure, dad is a really good name. Sure the more it happened, the actual like the human dad stopped coming. <laughs> Probably yeah. I wanna uh, I wanna get a dog and name him Atticus. Ooh, like Atticus Finch and to kill him. Yeah, exactly yeah. Because I really like the name Atticus for a person, but I don't imagine another person procreating with me also liking the name Atticus. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true. Just being realistic, so I'll settle on dog. Or lizard. <laughs> there was someone that told me that like a family member of theirs named their kid, like their middle names are Danger and Trouble. That is fantastic. That's Be real? Yeah, because why not? Yeah, it's a middle name. Like, middle names never matter. What, do, what is your middle name? Scott. Scott? Which is, my dad, which, which is my dad's yeah. name. So I get, it's like, oh, cool. It's like a nice little homage. But if it was Danger, like, no one... It doesn't matter what your middle name is. Matthew Danger Williams. Yeah, that'd be good. Knife blade. Knife or foot blade. I need to use that all the time. What about Geronimo as a middle name? <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one, too. Oh, they found the body. You better dispatch them. Make their children fatherless. I plan to. Oh. Only damage. Right, you're in, you're in another, the it. another fight. I thought I was go I thought I was blocking, but I was not. Oof. You got million dollar baby. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hate when that happens? Yeah, I just get hit right in the back of the head. 
Clint Eastwood, come on. Go chew your tongue out. Ugh, that movie was yucky. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been more mad at an antagonist in a movie than I was in that moment. Really? Well, because we don't see her have any sort of... Ha have you seen that movie? No. Oh, well, the, the end of the movie... Um, spoilers, I guess, for anyone still planning to see Million Dollar Baby... Uh, Hilary Swank is in, in like the fight that she's been training for and the bell rings like for the end of the round so she turns and walks away and then the woman she's fighting punches her as she's leaving and so she punches her in the back of the head and Hilary Swank falls and breaks her neck on the stairs and is paralyzed from the waist down or from the neck down oh jeez and that woman like harder to fight that way yeah, it's way harder. <laughs> You're relying pretty exclusively on headbutts. And that the woman that did it, just like, you just don't ever see her again. And, you know, she can't have felt good about it, but... It's like, ha! I even just wanted a minute of someone going like, are you serious? Like, okay, that's... You just paralyzed that person. Yeah, and you cheated. But both most of the both are bad. But yeah, so then uh, Hilary Swank at the end of the movie um, begs... Clint Eastwood to help her kill herself. And Clint Eastwood won't. I feel like... So then he gets a call in the middle of the night from the hospital and she's biting her tongue trying to bleed to death. So then he helps her kill herself. Oh my. Feel good movie of the year. I, five I, out of five. I would have predicted that Clint Eastwood would help kill her. Yeah. He would. But he was too busy telling Asian people to get off his lawn. I know. It's weird that like all of his movies take place in the same universe. <laughs> in the same uh, week, actually. That's what a lot of people don't realize. He, he's dudes. had a very weird week. Like, even like his old cowboy movies. Yeah. They're just, like, he aids dramatically. Yeah, well, the West will do that to you. It's true. Did you see uh, some interview where Steven Spielberg said that the, Ameri the superhero genre is going the way of the Western? Huh, what do you mean by that? Like, it's, it's a fad, basically, and it'll eventually die out. Huh. And then in the same, like, week, I think it was, Zack Snyder kind of called out Marvel for no reason. I don't know why. But he said something about how, like, Superman and, like, you know, he's doing Batman and Superman. How those are, like, transcendent of the genre because they're such classic heroes. Like, you know, they're kind of American classics. I, which isn't incorrect. Like, I'll give him that. Yeah. But then he, he took it a step further and said, it's different than just, like, the flavor of the week Ant-Man. Like, that's exactly what he said. And I'm like, why do you got to do that? Like, why do you got to, like say the opposite. I thought Ant-Man did a better job of, like, transcending the genre of superhero. Me, Yeah, I really enjoyed Ant-Man. Um, like, it didn't feel like a, just a, like a just another superhero movie. It felt like a heist movie Yeah. that happened to have superheroes. And I thought the same thing about the first, or the Captain America Winter Soldier. Yeah, it was very It political. was an action movie Yeah. that maybe, maybe had some superheroes sure. in it. So, but, uh, so then they, Kevin Feige, the head of Marvel Studios, yeah, uh, addressed that like someone asked him about it at some event huh. and he was actually super classy about it he said something like you know if it is going the way of the western that's not so bad because westerns lasted like 20 or 30 years so maybe in 20 or 30 years people aren't going to want to see these movies anymore but for this next several decades we can keep making good ones and, and he's like and the cool thing about westerns is they still happen sometimes like every now and then you'll still get a western movie so I, I don't think it is a bad thing they didn't disappear altogether yeah. And then um, addressing Zack Snyder's comment, he very classy, like just didn't didn't take a jab back or anything. He just said, he's like, well, I don't think that's fair because what we've done for the past two years is we've rele we released two movies. One is a big name title, and the other is a title no one knows, but we get people to care about them. So last year it was Winter Soldier and Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, it's this that's year a, it was yeah, that's an Avengers point. Two and Ant Man. He's like, and next year we hope to do the same thing with Captain America: Civil War and Doctor Strange. Yeah, that's... So I thought it was cool. He's like, ah, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. Haters going to hate. It's like, if you don't like it, you don't have to watch them. But everyone is going to. Yeah. And also, I, you know, I like Steven Spielberg movies because he's good at making them. But I don't think he's really taken a risk in a long time. He just kind of knows what he's doing and is like, all right. A million dollars, please. Yep. Sorry, I keep dying. Nah, hey, it's cool, man. I'm going to have There's a good time watching. What seems like a million guards. <laughs> There's four. <laughs> there are four, but I can only get hit twice. That's true. You do have very small amounts of health. It just matches my skill level. <laughs> That's the curve. <laughs> but uh, I, feel, I feel like Kevin Feige's like classiness in responding to that. This reminds me of the Jurassic World picture that was like shared, 
with the Marvel? Yeah. Yeah. Where he's just like, they're acknowledging like, yeah, you guys made an awesome thing. Mm-hmm. Good job. Yeah. It wasn't a, well, we're going to yeah, make something does. better. I don't know why it can't just be friendly competition. Yeah. Because like, that's what, I mean, it's a competition for sure. That's how it works, but it doesn't have to be nasty. Uh, hey, next time on Game Time Fun, yay. We're going to keep watching Matt get better at Assassin's Creed. Because he's getting hope. better. He's doing it. Oh, yeah. that was. Oh, I like what you did Dude. there, throwing the body in front of them. <laughs> that was nice. It was like, like, uh, it just seemed wrong not to give them their friends. 